Hello, my name is Trevor Cooper. I'm with Intel and I work on cloud native infrastructure technologies for 5G and Edge. Very excited to be here today with my colleagues, Fu Chao, Mark and Pierre for the launch of Anaket. I've been a long time contributor to OPNFE. I've been a TSC and uh, on the TSC uh, project technical lead. And uh, I've seen how OPNFE has a unique capability to solve problems, do integration, deployment and testing. On the CNTT side, I believe that the specifications that CNTT is developing are gonna help solve very significant operational challenges, simplify deployment and make uh, cloud native technologies much easier to consume to help accelerate the adoption of 5G and edge. And I think by bringing together the two communities, we're gonna create a real virtu virtuous cycle of developing specifications and implementing them in real time to improve those specifications. Mark, how about you? Thank you. I'm Mark Byrell from uh, Canonical. And I've been involved in OPNFE since only about 2016, which is close to the beginning, but not the beginning. Um, the thing that I uh, found the most interesting and loved about OPNFE is how, as a community, we all pull together and we're able to share uh, knowledge and, and strengthen the various projects that were inside of OPNFE. One of the main um, uh, uh, purposes of OPNFE was to take telco requirements and essentially work upstream to ensure those requirements have been met. Uh, in addition to that, we also had a, have a uh, continuous pipeline to ensure that we can prove that the uh, requirements have been met, that they are functioning as expected, as well as to add as uh, safety net in case any inadvertent regression happens in the future. Um, the heritage of testing inside of OPNFV is uh, a wonderful aspect of how we were working together. And as CNTT came around and started coming up with requirements and specifications for interoperability between the different um, NFVI vendors or virtual function vendors and the different platforms and trying to really reduce the matrix of you know, combinations of different um, OpenStack providers with different technologies and only certain VFs work with that. Um, one, what, you know, once I started looking at that and uh, OPNFE, it really made sense to me that OPNFE starts taking its requirements from this uh, an, um, CNTT project. And now we're really closely aligning and forming a new project called a new kit, which I think is going to bring tremendous benefit to the ecosystem. Fu Chao, what are your thoughts on this? Thank you, Mark. Uh, hi, hello, everyone. I'm Fu Chao from China Mobile. Uh, I, I was involved in the OpenFA community ever since its beginning in 2014. And also I was uh, involved in the founding of the CNTT community. From my understanding, these two communities actually represent two aspects of the NFV involvement, uh, which can never success without each other. CNTT actually provides the guidance and requirements and the direction. And then OPNFV provides us with the ability to real, try, try real new things and take actions. So that's why we pushed these uh, two communities together. So uh, back in the years when OPNFV first uh, founded, uh, like what Mark said, it focused more on the uh, carrier grid feature improvement for the uh, platform like OpenStack. These years, although NFV have, has been deployed in many uh, cloud uh, around in operators, uh, there are still problems that operators or vendors cannot solve all by ourselves. Open source community is still crucial in defining the de facto standard and interface and also provide us this uh, reference. So far, I, from my understanding, operators only actually virtualize the network, but the cost 
and the SOT are still huge challenges for us. So with the involvement of the next network virtualization, interoperability, integration, and the need of continuous uh, implement and test and delivery of the network, of the new services still are quite important to us. So we are expecting that this new community advocate could help us to provide more input on this. So what about yourself here from the standard side? Well, I think the, the, the combination is very interesting. Um, my name is Pierre Lynch. I'm from Keysight Technologies, but I also chair the TST uh, working group at Etsy or ETSI NFD. So we build the specifications behind the NFD architecture, but also from my perspective, we're very interested in, in, in OPNFD and CNTT from the beginning. Uh, I've been participating in, the, in both of those communities uh, as the TST chair and representing uh, what we do there, but also it's, it's been a su very successful two-way collaboration in the past um, with input of real implementations and not just document specifications into Etsy, which helps us greatly. And then we reciprocated with our knowledge into the communities as well. Uh, I love the fact that they're uh, merging into Anaket. I think that's an exciting development <clears throat> to have the modeling architecture and then implementation and testing all in the same organization and everybody collaborating. And then we'll keep, uh, I will keep uh, participating uh, going forward as the Etsy NFV representative into the CVC, the Compliance and Verification Committee and see how we can, again, two-way collaborate uh, going forward within that uh, and to move uh, the actual compliance testing forward for the Anaket uh, specifications. So no, I, I think it's super exciting. Uh, I'm going to keep uh, uh, going with this. Um, and I, I think it's a great way to move forward, especially with cloud native technologies, which is something that we're working on at Etsy and NFD as well. So uh, with that in mind, I think uh, with the crowd that's assembled here, a bunch of veterans, any final thoughts for anybody for going forward with Aniket? I'd like to extend a warm welcome to everyone who wants to join us. Welcome to Aniket. We're a friendly crowd. Come and join us. 